Blessing Awadibu and Andrew Jacked, two of the rising stars in the IFBB for sure. Now this is exciting, guys. I did this comparison before using the New York Pro Blessing Awadibu and the Texas Pro Andrew Jacked. And in my opinion, there was just no way that Blessing was going to get a victory using those two versions. But here's where the exciting part is. Blessing Awadibu competed before the New York Pro at the Indy Pro. And he was twice as good. He was better conditioned than at the New York. So, we're going to use that version here. Now, Andrew Jacked was far better at the Texas Pro than he was at his most recent version at the Arnold Classic UK. And, of course, like I said, that's my opinion. But, I mean, it's plain as day, guys. His ab muscles, his back, his condition, much better. So, we're using a better... Blessing Awadibu and a lesser jacked. Man, oh man, let's go through these shots. And you know what? You know what? The first person my eyes go to is Blessing Awadibu. I think he's honestly in better condition here. But I gotta say, structurally speaking, of course, Andrew jacked. He's big, he's huge, big quads, things of that nature, abs hanging off him. But he's not in the condition here. That Blessing is... Come on, guys, you gotta give Blessing that. Vacuum pose, you can see the abs, for goodness sakes. It's just an incredible pose, and he is the stronger man of the two in the biceps. And obviously, guys, you can't argue that. This is crazy. This is insane. I would have said for sure, no way Blessing had a chance. But using these two versions, yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Here's the front lat spread. And if you thought, uh, Blessing was going to lose this one. Wrong. Wrong. He's losing the, the silhouette, for sure. I don't think anybody can beat uh, Andrew Jack in this. Look at the silhouette, man, oh man. Dorian-esque. But take a look. Take a close look. Who do you think's in better condition? Who has the thinner skin? Who has the things of that nature? Blessing does. Blessing does. Who put Andrew Jack on the map? Well, the, uh, the judges did. The judges did, for sure. I'm not saying that he, he didn't deserve the win at the Arnold UK. I'm just saying that James Hollingshead probably did. But anyway, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Condition-wise, you could easily give this one to your blessing. Go through these shots here. Turn to the side, as I so often times say. Now, here is where Jacked... He's a big friggin' dude all the way. Big dude. Wow, 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 wow. Scene from Pumping Iron. I could watch Pumping Iron a million times, and I love when the guy says that. Anyway, anyway, yeah. Um, if you take a close look at the quad, I think, honestly, Blessing does have some separation there that Jack might not. But, man, it is a presentful big side leg here for Andrew Jack. His legs were much bigger anyway from the front. Just less separated. Seems to have the separation matching blessing here now his arm andrew jacked i'm gonna criticize him here i'm gonna cr criticize him he holds his arm up too high i think that is because maybe his arm looks a little bit i don't want to say petite might look a little small if he holds it down properly that's a louis marco reference Proper. <laughs> side tricep i think jacked is winning the two side you could say that Blessing's winning the two front due to conditioning. Of course, you look at this big man's chest of Blessing. He does have, and indeed, a big man's manly chest. So does Jacked. Bigger delts, too. Yeah, I'd say Jacked, even with this version and that version, he'd still get a victory. You gotta win the back shots, though, guys. You got to win the back shots, or do you? Hmm, yes. Seems like the judging criteria is changing and evolving right in front of our very eyes. To maybe favor certain bodybuilders? Or is it to favor a style? An aesthetic look? Because if it's aesthetics you want, Blessing Awadibu has it in spades as well. Huge following, just like Andrew Jacked. Andrew's back's bigger and you could see that from the other comparison. Go watch that other comparison. But his back is soft. 
in comparison to the New York Pro Andrew Jacked. And Blessing, it's a smaller back, for sure. But his Latin insertions, twice as thick. The d- detail, the, d- d- the detail of his outer lats. <laughs> I'm making fun of myself. Much greater, much more separation. Glutes, hamstrings, I wager to say, guys, he is in better condition. So yeah, depending on if Jacked... If he peeled it up a bit, yeah, he'd dominate the back, for sure. But that's not the case using these two versions. Rear doubled by. His posing techniques were nowhere near as good at the Arnold's Classics. Blessing Awadibu, or I mean uh, Andrew Jacks. He was supreme. He was striking the poses perfectly at the Texas. But yeah, it, it kind of reflects these pictures too. His, his arms are up too high. His back doesn't look like it has the V-taper. His midsection looks slightly thicker than Blessing's. And that was not the case in the other comparison, guys. Blessing was better at the Indie Pro. So it's been even longer now, obviously, since Blessing competed. So we have no idea what we are going to see. Imagine if he improves from this version and Andrew Jack starts to decline his progress. Obviously, I would say this one's going to Blessing Awadibu. Here's the abs and thigh, and this one could be a a debatable one as well. It's being hit to spec, hit to perfection by Andrew Jacked. He's not as peeled, not as diced as he was. His abs, they were much sharper than Blessing's. Blessing was sharper here at the Indy than he was at the New York, though. So that's what makes bodybuilding the wacky, weird game sport pageant contest that it is that it is but yeah very hard to beat andrew jacked in the abs and thigh shot here's the most muscular and this one here is kind of self-explanatory if you ask me i think blessing on a slightly smaller scale a smaller structure has a little bit more arm muscle you can see so that comes out to be a more impressive physique if you ask me. And the strong point for Jack would be his abs. Well, in this comparison, guys, who has the better separated abs here? I would wager to say that Blessing Awadibu has. So yeah, it sounds like I've been championing Blessing Awadibu through this whole match, coaching him in a, a verbal assault of compliments about his physique. And just abusing Andrew Jack in that sense. Well, guys... It's because last time, Jacked was winning, Blessing was losing, and this time I have Blessing edging a victory out. And that's like the underdog story. Everybody likes the underdog story, you know, the the guy that nobody thinks is going to win, like a Sylvester Stallone in uh, Rocky 1, for instance, when he was going to fight Apollo Creed, man. I'm going to bust that guy up, man. Anyway, yeah, I can do Apollo Creed, too. He had quite a build on him. I think he would have probably mopped the floor with Stallone in real life. But anyway, we do we do travel off, don't we? Don't we? Yeah, I hate to upset anybody. Am I saying that Blessing's a better bodybuilder? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that he can be. I'm saying that he absolutely can get a victory over Andrew Jack at the Olympia. And before this, I wouldn't have thought so. I wouldn't have thought so. But there is holes in the game of Andrew Jack. Who knows, guys? He could come in twice as good at the Olympia. I'd like to see both of these guys 110%, then have it out. Have a great day, guys.